I got to tell you, my heart went out to you and all your teammates first and foremost in that gutsy performance you guys had against the Montreal Impact. Let's talk about that game for a few minutes here, Frank. Go back and talk about it, how it was in the dressing room before you guys made the walkout and knowing that you guys had to play the game of your life to make a statement, not only to all of Canada, but to all of North America. Give us a feel about the game and give us a feel about walking out there and what you guys were about to do. Absolutely. I mean, it started, it started positive when we beat them at home, actually. So going into the locker room, we knew that, that they were going to play. They're going to play their players in Montreal because they, they went down, and I don't think they expected to go down when they came to Edmonton. So we knew they were going to come out, and we, we were planning to weather the storm, but that didn't happen, so they went up 2 nothing. And, you know, halftime locker room, everybody's like, we still had such positive vibe. We had 2-1 down. We score a goal. We're right back in the game. Now, that 3 nothing game, 3 nothing goal, a lot of teams would have fell down and said, you know what, we're out. But So what is it then, Frank? Is it something that is in that locker room that you guys are, are lucky to have? It's a veteran leadership group like yourself and Daryl Fortas and John Smith that said to, to your teammates, let's go, even though it's 3 nothing, we can get back in this? Absolutely. And you know what, I think it starts with the leadership from all our guys, especially our captain, Albert, but it also the youth believe in it as well. And that's such an important thing in the locker room. Your leadership has to set a good example for the youth, and the youth have came out storming. Hansen has played fantastic this whole Amway Challenge, and he's only going to get better. And, you know, he learns from, from us, and he, he respects us, so it keeps going like that. Well, he's learning from you, and he's learning from Daryl, and what two better players he can learn from is you two guys on and off the field. And I love watching Hansen Bokai play, Frank. To me, I have one concern. He's got a ton of energy. He's got a ton of uh, uh, never-give-up attitude, but I think it's got to be harnessed, and guys like yourself and Daryl can really mold this guy into a Canadian superstar. I truly believe that. Uh, you know, I'm on the same page as you. Absolutely. He's going he's gonna to be a superstar, and you know what? To think of it, he's only 17, and look what he's doing to teams in the MLS. So that's only a positive to build on. And he, he's going to harness it, and he's going to get better day by day. You know, I felt for Colin Miller. I felt for you guys uh, going up against the Montreal Impact. And I'll be honest, Frank, I've got friends on both teams. I just didn't like the way it finished out. It was a brutal, disgusting call. You don't have to comment on it. I don't expect you to, but I will. And to me, we hold coaches accountable for wins and losses. We hold players like yourself, Frank, accountable uh, to score because you're getting paid a certain wage to put the ball in the back of the net. But when referees make a disgraceful call like that, they need to be held accountable. And to me, this is something that needs to be discussed time and time again. But nevertheless, let, let's talk about the respect I'm sure that you got from the Montreal players, the fans of Montreal, but not only Montreal, all of this country was disgusted in what took place. How great is it, Frank, that you guys got that respect? Oh, I think I think it's a it's a great great aspect of respect, especially not only for our team but the NASL in general. I mean, I, I I'd say a lot of people that looked at the game before that said, "Oh, NASL versus MLS team, this is an easy win for the MLS team." But there's not that much of a disparity between MLS and. NASL teams minus the designated players. Well, let's be honest, Frank. You lined up against Eric Hasley, former MLS star uh, with the Whitecaps, TFC, you name it. And I'm pretty sure, I, I, I'm pretty sure this, you had a little extra pepper in your body to go up and show him that you could play, uh, you know, uh, in MLS as you played against him with San Antonio this weekend as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's always, that's, that's the great thing about competition. You know, if you have good players that, have, have been proven in other leagues and it's, it's your to show that like listen we're here too we're just as good as you and we're going to prove it on the field 